the universally worshipped sun is among the least understood of the celestial bodies. The Indian Space Agency, ISRO, is now putting together its first dedicated mission, aptly called Adityavan, to study the sun. Here's an exclusive story by NDTV science editor Pallav Pagla, who travelled to their labs. Life on Earth depends on the sun, yet it's functioning the least understood. In an ambitious move to crack the celestial enigma, ISRO is planning to send a 400 kilogram satellite costing about 200 crore rupees to be placed about 800 kilometers above the Earth. Aditya One will continuously track the sun. We need to now worry about the weather in the space because there are many satellites in space. There are long haul flights, it goes to the polar region, then you know, uh, there are telecommunications which gets disrupted because of the changes in the sun. There are certain violent you know, features uh, which we see in the sun. India has billions of dollars worth of assets in space, with more than a dozen satellites helping in our daily lives. Protecting these in tough times, especially during sunstorms, may become easier with Aditya in orbit by 2014. India's maiden mission to study the sun, Aditya, will help understand the space weather phenomena and also understand its linkages, if any, with global warming. This mission will be particularly looking at the sun from space and looking at the coronal regions of the sun. Looking the corona from the space has the advantage that I mean we are avoiding the Earth's atmosphere, so you have avoiding all the scattered light contributions. So what you get is a very crisp images of the corona of the sun by looking from the space. Having successfully flown to the moon through Chandrayaan 1, ISRO's next big dream is definitely gunning for a place in the sun. In Bangalore with camera person Alphonse Raj, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.